Okay, so you are now coach to yes. uh, Charlene Guinard, 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 yes, and, and Marco, Marco Fabri. Fabri. Uh, so they have been progressively improving in terms of their finishes at the World Championships. And last year in Boston, 2016, they broke into the top 10. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. How do you feel about this? I mean, we were really in surprise. They did uh, such a great performance in a short dance, in a free dance. So we were really happy. And Mark's came. So we were in a kiss and cry. We were like in shock. So it was a great result, but I want to say the kids are working like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm teaching them to work really hard because uh, nobody gives you a present in this sport. And uh, plus, uh, plus if, if you are Italian, or maybe, I want to say, if you're not Russians or Canadians or America with the big traditions, you have to rush like crazy and you have okay. to skate like even better and better than the others, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm teaching them. That's why they never uh, done. They, every time they practice like uh, tigers and lions. Mm -hmm. This is our way. Okay. Uh, and that's why every, every year they are uh, better and they learning, uh, they are learning every year something more. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter when one competition could be okay or not. Uh, but their character, it's, it's coming to be really strong and this, uh, this is, uh, um, it's, it's, it's big results for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the top ten, mm -hmm. like the teams from first to ninth, they're, they're big teams. They're Absolutely. really good teams. Yeah. How, what do you think it's going to take now to crack further, to climb further up into the top ten? Appreciating as well that Virtue and Moyer are back. Exactly. So presumably, yep. Exactly. A lot of teams from sort of fourth down are, are going to shift down. Yes. You know, if if Virtue and Moyer skate to the same, you know, same pinnacle, the same ability that they did prior to, to 2014. Okay. First of all, my teams will my team will have the possibility to skate and compete with Virtue and Moyer. So for them, it will be another lesson. Okay. Just okay. to see them, how they are on the ice, because they never had the opportunity to to compete with them in a, such a big competition. So it will be great for them, okay. this. Uh, and then uh, all teams are really good in the top 10, even out of the to top 10. Uh, we need to move step by step. We are there, we work, and then let's see who is getting better, who is improving, mm -hmm. who has a better programs. Uh, I think my team has a good quality of skating skills, uh, nice programs, I mean, I like, I, I hope people also will like because yeah. this is the first, big first competition for us, so we are starting the season mm -hmm. and um, we'll see how we'll go, I mean, we are ready to attack and uh, we are ready to learn also from the teams that are better than us, yeah. why not? So I'm yeah. curious to know, I mean, as, as a successful ice dancer yourself, Looking at the evolution of the sport mm -hmm. since 2000, mm -hmm. uh, at, at the time that you were at the top, the pendulum has really swung, where ice dance used to be a European-dominated sport, mm -hmm. and now the North Americans and the Canadians have really broken through. Yes. Uh, and the training centers are also now largely in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, and then, after 2014, yeah. the French team just, out of nowhere, starts hitting off world records exactly. and, and, and performing really well. What's your sense of all of this? I mean, it's a lot of things to say. It's, yeah. uh, it's a <laughs> big change because uh, how you say, and uh, in, in our moment, uh, it was just uh, us, French, Lithuanian, and yeah, Born and Kratz, Canadian. Mm -hmm. uh, but how you say it, the Europeans were really, really strong. And then, also in Torino 2006, Belbin Agosto came and uh, they were really young team, mm -hmm. but they show, I mean, with the silver medalist, uh, with the silver medal, they, they show that they were really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, they beat us, but just not for this, because they were really fresh and new and different skating skills. I mean, different um, style, American, mm -hmm. North American, we were Europeans, mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. So it started to, to, it started this era with uh, this uh, way of skating, mm -hmm. okay? Um, a little bit more smooth, uh, more romantic, uh, less aggressive. 
Um, and this is now is the way that we follow. Um, yeah, exactly. Now the French team, uh, new team, like really young, uh, but amazing skaters. Um, I'm impressed because, like, like Virtue and Mori at the Olympic Games, I mean, in, to, in Vancouver they were like 19, this team same age, like 19, mm -hmm. really, really young. At, in my moments we were starting to be a champion when we were a little bit older, okay? So now everything is really changing. Mm -hmm. What can I say? I, I'm just looking to them and I'm, I'm trying to catch from them the best thing that I have. Also with my team, we are looking to them, we are trying to understand why they are better than us uh, and uh, what we can do to be better. And what do you so think it is? What qualities do they have that are so special? <sighs> oh, they have like, uh, if we are talking about the French, they have a quality of uh, skating skills that it's really amazing and they are skating together for a long time like Virtu and Moyer, okay, maybe Virtu and Moyer a little bit more, but also Papadakis and Cicerone, they are skating together for a long time, like many years, so the connection, if it's working, because sometimes it's not working, so teams split up, if it's working, I mean, you can see a team when it's skating together for a long time, mm. because it's like one person. And uh, to me, they show me that they are like one person. One movement is going into the other movement, and everything is so natural, even if they are 19 mm -hmm. or 20. Mm -hmm. And normally, at, at my moment, uh, at, il, uh, at 19 years old, we had to work like crazy until 28 to be, I don't want to say like them, because maybe we never skate like them. We had different quality, it was different moment. Uh, but the quality of this team, it's, it's amazing. I saw also Virtu and Moria came back with the programs. I mean, it doesn't matter if you like the programs or not. What you can say, it's amazing team. Connection between them is great. Mm. Quality of skating, quality of the movement, quality of the posture, quality of the musicality. It's awesome. I mean, it's it's great team. Thanks God they came back, so my team had the opportunity to see them. <laughs> right. So they will, maybe they will not in the top 10, okay, okay. But they will learn a lot to see this team and to be in the same group with this team, to mm -hmm. fight with this team and um, I'm sure we will um, uh, put in our pocket more experience right. from this. Okay, you know, Italy doesn't, ha you mentioned that Italy doesn't have as deep a figure skating tradition mm -hmm. as Russia, Canada, and the U.S. Yes, is that is that difficult? I mean, your team is the is, is the second ranked Italian team yes. because there's uh, Anna and Luca. Yeah, yes, Luca. Carolina Costner might be coming back. Fingers crossed this yes. season. But there aren't there aren't so, sort of a, there isn't a long stretch of really well known Italian ice dancers, yep. figure skaters in general. It, does that make it more difficult for, for your team? Do they have the same kind of recognition and familiarity in Italy when they're training in Milan? Okay, I mean, uh, when we were competing and we were a champion, we broken, okay, the way. We yeah. opened the way, finally. Uh, and uh, all the world of figure skating recognized Italian as a strong nation, okay, in figure skating, because mm -hmm. it, n it never happened before. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, of course, Carolina did a great job because she was one of the best, uh, or maybe the best, because I'm Italian, so I want to say the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then next, Anna and Luca, that they did again the miracle that we did in the past. So they become again world champions and it, it was really great, uh, I want to say great present again for Italy because they work it like crazy. Mm -hmm. They were practice also sometimes with me and Maurizio. Anna was practice with me and Maurizio when she was really young. So mm. we saw them grow up uh, in, in the years into the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, finally, Italy had uh, something to say in these worlds. So for my teams, of course, it's not easy because they are second after Anna and Luca. And until Anna and Luca will be there, probably we'll be, we will be second, who knows, but until now it's like this. If and they keep uh, going like tigers and lions, you well, never know. Exactly, I push them <laughs> like right. tiger and lions, of course. <laughs> uh, but um, 
uh, still a lot of job to do in Italy because, mm. uh, as you know, uh, we have f football as the best uh, and more popular uh, sport uh, right. in, in our nation. Uh, I mean, it's tradition in our in our country. Do, yeah, is, is is figure skating even televised that much in Italy? I mean, it I is. hope it is because I mean, what I see on YouTube, I have no idea what the Italian commentators okay. are saying, but they're so <laughs> expressive yes. and excited. And yeah. you know, when Carolina Italian lands a jump, passion. yeah, they, you know, like they lose Italian their minds. Passion, of course, it's contagious. Even though I don't know yeah, what they're saying. Yeah, we are Mediterranean, you know, so it's like <laughs> the passion. It's like really strong. No, uh, sometimes, yes, for the big competition we are in, in television, but uh, for example, when we had the Worlds uh, in Vancouver, um, my family saw the competition from the French television. Oh, that's okay. too, and that's that was not US, really yeah, That was won. not really <laughs> nice. Oh, of course. <laughs> With the French commentators, it was not really nice. But they didn't send anything in an Italian channel, so at that time so, it was so like when this you, now so when you won the world championships in 2001 in vancouver yeah. it wasn't televised in italy no that's a shame yeah it was later when yeah. we won of yeah. course all uh, like news n um, news in television they were saying oh it's the first time after 100 years that the team won yeah. italian team won the worlds of course but it was not live in television when we had our performance mm -hmm. i told you my family saw it in the french television and they couldn't hear the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the but best. Exactly. Probably for the ex best. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were show. I mean, our performance was show it just in a French television and in Eurosport. But at that moment, my family had no Eurosport. I mean, no. Um, how you say the? It was like a special cable. Like a subscription. It, I mean, it, yes, yeah. it was like 15 years ago. So now, of course, yeah. everybody has. Right. It's 15 years ago. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't easy. But um, it wasn't easy also for us. Eh? But from that moment, from the world, they follow us. So a lot of newspaper and a lot of television follow us in our preparation, in our way into the Olympic Games. So mm -hmm. everything changed after that world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, of course. Well, thank you, Barbara Fusipoli, oh. for changing thank you. <laughs> changing the prestige or the role of the, of, of ice dance. We did uh, just our Italy job. And figure skating in Italy. We we did just our job. We just trust in ourselves. Uh, uh, I mean, when I started and I was a kid, I was never think uh, about that I was like in uh, that it, it it can happen to me after like 15 years to be a champion. I just started because I love this sport uh, mm. and I push it. I skated like crazy. I was really fighting and uh, I won. You I sure mean, did. You yeah, sure did. I mean, uh, I was really happy because we worked really hard, mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. me and Maurizio, and we improved uh, yeah. all over the year. I mean, like in 10 years, we did a big jump from last, like 10 places at the Europeans or 15 plays at the Worlds uh, up to the first. So it means that we did a good job with yeah. our coaches, with our choreographers, and. It was a good team, good moment, and mm -hmm. I have a good remember. Mm -hmm. so. And hopefully that will transfer to... Uh, to my kids, that's yeah. Right, to now to I'm here with Marco and Sharon, but, but I have a lot of team in, in home, so I'm happy. I'm working with the other Italians. I have um, Jasmine Tessari and Francesco Fioretti, another Italian senior team. Kay. Then I have a couple of juniors team, young. Uh, then I'm working with Japanese team. Uh, I'm working with Polish team, uh, German, French junior team. I have like international schools, so yeah. I'm proud about this. And um, I'm still working with my choreographer already for five years. My assistant is Stefano Caruso, that it was my athlete. Mm -hmm. uh, he did Olympic Games in Sochi with me for Germany and he's working now with me. I think we have a good school and mm -hmm. we are doing a good job. Great. Uh, I hope, I mean, the results will speak for Th us. Hey, they're showing it, top 10 in the world. That's, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to catch up with you and gain your insights thank you on for asking me. Thank you very much. And, uh, and stay in touch and we'll keep following uh, your, you know, as you develop okay. as a coach. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Thank, thank, you. thank you, bye, thank you.